All right, you guys, I want to show you uh, my hybrid solar system. Um, I'm not tied in. I'm not using a tie-in inverter. I'm using my inverter is actually, if you guys watch my other videos, my inverter is actually an uh, off-grid uh, off inverter. And then I have the Flex 80, Flex Max 80 charge controller. And then I have a 48-volt 48, 48 bank battery. What I'm doing is I'm actually just run. If I want to run anything, just straight off my battery instead of being tied into the utility. Because as you know, if with the utility companies, um, you can send power back. But the only thing about that is uh, if you have a tie-in and your inverter is, and you don't have a backup battery system, if the grid goes down, then everything goes down, in, including your home. So a lot of people don't understand that. That if they don't have a backup system, that they're not going to have power. Because all they're doing is actually they're just feeding the their, whatever their excess energy usage is. They're just giving it back to the energy companies. Arizona, our energy companies are trying to backpedal. There's uh, two major uh, power companies. One of them is actually a nuclear power plant. It's APS, which is out here. Then SRP. Those two companies. And then there's an, another one what's down in Tucson, which is a major uh, power company. I can't remember the name of those guys though down there. Anyway, they're trying to backpedal on all that because they're now they're wanting to. If you have um, solar panels on your roof, they want a premium, so fifty dollars or fifty dollars, sixty dollars, whatever it is. So essentially, you know, you're gonna have to first send back enough power for fifty dollars to pay them to to make it uh, worthwhile to even it out just for on that aspect. That's not even considering how much you've paid for all the equipment and everything so what I've done is I've went my own way and I've done my uh, own thing um, I've kind of just created like a, other guys have done the same thing too I've created a hybrid so I'm kind of going to go over with you with, with everything that I have other videos and you can look at those and see what I've done with everything I just want to show you what I've what's what I've uh, how the whole system is now how I've tied it all together and Everything's up and running. It's been up and running actually for about a year. The only I haven't showed you guys, I've showed you the array. Uh, I'm at 1,560 watts. I'm going to double that because I can, I'll show you guys in some pictures how I can uh, actually, I've already got it already set up so that I can just add the other uh, 1,560, which comes to what, over 3,000 watts. We're not going to do the math right now. So I can actually add another same 1,560, another 1,560 on my roof. Okay, so I've showed you that. I've showed you the e-panel. I've showed you the Flex Max uh, charge controller. I've showed you the inverter. I've showed you my 48 volt bank batteries, how to uh, wire them up. Um, you guys can go back and look at all those other videos. So let me uh, put this down a little. I'm gonna show you the wiring. So there's the batteries. So I'm just gonna slide this across slowly. So here's the wiring, what's going to the uh, Reliance switch. Okay, so I'm just going to show you how I showed you guys in the other videos. Here it is. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, so now here is the Reliance um, switch. And this is the newer one. I think they used to be a little bit smaller. or I mean, they were thinner, but they're, um, the circuit breakers were just as good. They're all U, uh, UL approved. I think it's UL, right? UL approved, and uh, yeah, they're good to go. So, actually, let me go back over here and show you guys what's coming in and what's coming out. Uh, voltage, 99 volts are coming in, and then 51.1 voltage is going out. So, that's the 51.1 volts that I can use. Okay, so this is the Reliance box. Let me get up on it real close to show you guys. See, these are all just regular circuit breakers, too. They're all circuit, uh, regular circuits. If, you can just go to Home Depot, Lowe's, and change those out if you have to. So this is how this thing works. Let me see if I can get a shot on it. The first one, A, which is A, is my refrigerator, as you can see. The second one is my washer. Okay, so you see the first one is the fridge. So I'm just going to go over these with you guys, just the top ones. Okay, the first one is the fridge. It's 20 amp. My fridge runs off of 20 amp. So this one here, let me see if I can. Down here... You see A, if I shut this off, then that's just going to turn all of it off. But see, in between here, you have your line, which is the, um, you know, the utility. 
then you just in the middles off and then they have it labeled as generator uh, same thing solar so we'll just call it the solar 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 generator whatever off and then the line so right now I have everything on on the line so if I was to flip this up here to okay I can hear that my blower is working I have my blower hooked up to my because I can't run the AC completely off of it because that drains way too much my battery wouldn't even last a minute plus I don't have any two uh, 40s hooked up right now um, which I can though I can hook up a 240 uh, like the batteries and stuff they're just getting better and better um, Tesla they dropped their battery their whole battery thing their house battery um, but I was looking into like more batteries and making a better getting better batteries Panasonic actually has a real nice battery but um, you can't even get it here it's in Australia but Australia is so much further ahead of us okay so I'm just gonna show you this anyway so I can hear my blower going my blower is on let's see my air handler is 15 amp so I've got the and it's on E so I'm gonna turn it on I'm gonna turn my E on and you're gonna see down here the amps go up you see it see it move I don't know if you can even see it move so okay off it does it so quick that it boom my air handler is still running you can see it it moved up okay so I'm gonna just put it back down onto line and I'm gonna take my daughter's back her thing back on line hers is uh, J which you won't be able to even see this one because it's so small so little boom that's off let me see if I can show you E again boom it jumped I can't see when I look in here see yep okay you can see it all right okay so this is how it goes so it just runs in from at the bottom there I really can't see out here if that's a good see it runs in from over there on the other side of the wall okay that's going up going up into the utility box and then I just have everything lettered or uh, yeah well it's with letters just look into the reliance uh, pull it up and uh, look into all this stuff. Everything's pretty much uh, all on all the other videos. Just all you got to do is start researching and you can put your own little system together. And it's fun. It's very addicting, actually, solar is. It's a fun hobby. And I tinker in everything. So all my explanations and all my stuff what might not be the best. I know some of you guys send me messages saying blah, blah, blah. But, you know... At the end of the day, you need to do your own research anyway. You know, I'm not here to do everything for you. I want to just show you, give you guys uh, a good idea and give you a good head start. And most of you guys are going to research and do that. Some people just want you to uh, give them everything. Okay, so anyway, here's, um, so all you do is it's just, it's wired. Let me get a little closer. You can see like how it's wired. So here's uh, B and A. Okay, so all I did was just take the red wire, black wire, pulled one out of here, pulled the one out of here, ran it up into the uh, Reliance wire, shut, uh, put, uh, put a, um, oh, whatever this is called, put it on here, and then uh, put the one of the wires into here. So when you flip it, all you're doing is flipping on your battery, and then you're just flipping back on to the, to the power. You don't need, you're, you're not, there's not gonna be any back feed, okay? All right, you guys, that's just what I wanted to show you. All right, until next time, you got any uh, comments, anything like that, uh, subscribe. You guys have a good time. My battery's going to die. Actually, it counts down on me, so I've only got 13 seconds left. But, yeah, so just look into the Reliance box and everything else. Watch my other videos on the uh, solar, and this is my hybrid solar. Thanks, you guys. Have a great day. It's going to shut off.